Our country today is experiencing one of the greatest periods of prosperity that we have ever known. More people are employed in lucrative jobs than per capita uh, income and the gross national product are greater than ever before. Nevertheless, uh, the second session of the 89th Congress convenes in a very somber atmosphere. The grave and dangerous situation in Vietnam, as well as the continuous possibility of violence and strife and bloodshed in Santo Domingo, will be of overriding concern to this Congress throughout this new session. The war will force some hard decisions on the Congress, as well as on the President. I do not know just what will be proposed in the national budget, but it is almost certain to be the largest ever sent to Capitol Hill by a president. And this will be in addition to the almost $15,000 million in extra money that the president has been compelled to seek for the prosecution of the war in Vietnam. There are only three ways that we can put the bill for these skyrocketing expenditures. We can raise taxes, we can further cheapen the dollar, or we can enforce economies by cuts in reductions in non-defense expenditures. Congress, of course, has a vital interest in the prosecution of the war in Vietnam under our constitutional system, and we all hope and pray that a way will be found speedily to bring an honorable and early end to this vicious and vexatious affair. I can state that in the very near future, the Senate Armed Services Committee, over which I have the honor to preside, will begin a series of intensive hearings in which we expect to examine all facets of our global military posture, for we have troops in every corner of the globe. And the witnesses will include Secretary McNamara and other top civilian and military defense leaders. The Vietnamese war is today the most urgent and matter in these hearings. Uh, we cannot forget the smoldering powder keg in San Domingo. We will go into every area that involves the military security of the United States and examine every th threat to this country and our readiness to meet and contain any adversary. And I expect that the Congress will also take a good, hard look at some of the so-called economy moves in the military establishment of this country that have been announced within the past few weeks. 